All right. Here we go again. I'm lucky to be back in Campeche. As uh, most of you know, this is my favorite spot. Not only for fishing, for those little devils out there, but also because Campeche is a beautiful town, very peaceful. Uh, many things you can do and you can enjoy. Food is outstanding, people are terrific. In fact, I have it with me today, my, my guide over here, Miguel Lucho. Uh, he helped me today to get a couple of more fish and we had a lot of fun. Miguel Lucho, mira ya. Eh? See? He smile. Uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to do a few flies. I'm going to start with the first one, which will be this uh, top wall over here. Uh, of course, this is not one of my fly. Uh, it is the goggler, and there is a 300 million version of the goggler. What I will do is basically constructing these flies using my material so I can show you how easy and fast it is to do uh, this fly over here. Uh, I still have a little tippet over here. I got a couple of fish. Great action and top water fishing for the baby tarpon is, is phenomenal. It's great seeing those fish just jumping and hitting these flies and uh, many misses. They miss these flies a lot, I would say, but you catch them a lot. It's the excitement of you know the fish getting to the flies and the grab of the flies or missing the fly. It's, it's incredible. It's a lot of fun. At least for me, it's not how many fish you can catch, but it's how much fun you have out there. So I'm gonna start to get busy with this fly. So be with me, follow, and we'll do this in no time. Okay, I'm ready to go. You will find the recipe on the, on the page. And what I'm going to do is a little chartreuse with some white and yellow foam. Uh, you cut the strip. The width of the strip is depends the size of the hook. I use a two watt, uh, two watt short shank, nice wide gap, S615. And I'm gonna start it with threads, regular thread. I'm using a three yard threads. Okay. Can put a base of threads. Yeah. I'm gonna move this over here so that my eyes don't catch the shining stuff. This over here. Perfect. My Capitan over here is really eager to learn, it's great. They really like to learn the flies, how to tie them and what to do it because they know better than me. Depend again into the day what works the best. Using this craft fur brush right here. You could put a drop of glue on it, but it's not really necessary. It's the threads will do the job. beautiful long fibers that we have it that we can work with it. My suggestion to you is every turn you do just give him a nice stroke back. I use my little finger brush. See the way it really pops up all the fibers. And I'll take my time every stroke I do 
pull them up. We are a deep on the mangrove over here, as you can see. Nice and peaceful. You have a nice little shadow area. Just check the detail. Uh, this should be fine. I really don't count how many wraps I do. I just feel over here how big I want the tail. And this should be fine. I'm gonna help over here with a little middle. After a nice working day on the water, sip of beer, Indio is one of my favorite over here. Popping a cigar does this way push all the mosquitoes away. There you go. You want to add a little bit more flash, get a couple of strips of this flushable. Get a nice little flash right on top. And see, you can leave as long as you like to. I really don't cut too short. Then I'm going to put a some, a couple of, of these legs over here. This tiger, whatever we call it. Micro legs. Give it more action. And they are really visible. They are UV, believe it or not, reflection. If that means anything, because honestly, I don't know, I got my my theory about this the UV stuff or not. Some people do, some people don't, so it's always up to the individual. And I'll put it right on top of it. I'm gonna keep on going over here now. I'm gonna grab it the white. I'm gonna just trim over here. And this is gonna go right here. I'm sure you are familiar, very familiar with this goggler type flies. It's one of my favorite fly pattern out there. We missed the man who came out with this, Jack Garside. Good friend, good person. We miss him a lot. Unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. And this is one of his creation and it's unbelievable fly. It's just unbelievable. I'm gonna jump into the minnow head brush for the white. So to create the belly over here. And we're gonna go right underneath. Again, you could put a drop of glue in here, like that, but you don't have to because the threads really holds everything together. I'm 
you know, start to wrap around. You don't need to put a lot of wraps. So no need for that. You space them out. I want to show all you the way I space them out. Tom, Thomas, can you zoom in and see if, if, we, if we can show the way I space out? Can we see that nicely? Yes? Excellent. Okay. So at this point, of course, we're going to have to fold it. So you can leave the fibers as they are, or you can trim a little bit. It's up to you. What would you like to have? Okay, so we can do that. I think we're good. Excess over here, we'll just to trim it. So we have a, the top form right here. Now, what I did it is I grabbed the other column. And we're gonna create the leap over here so that it can really pop and push water. Just like that. Okay. This is double foam over here of course it will it's gonna push a lot of water it's gonna make a lot of noise and to give a little bit more floatability I'm gonna just cut over here as you can see and if you want to get fancy I just cut the point over here but be honest with you is not necessarily but again just to you want to be fancy so you have like a two-tone right here and uh, what I like to do over here is I put a drop of glue flip flop right there and that's pretty much it
you don't need to put a lot of pressure into the threads so that we're not going to cut the foam. Now go away. And over here, yes, I will put a drop of glue into the threads. Just into the thread, be very careful. Just like that. So we have a, a chartreuse type color, whatever you want to call it. Color, you alternate the colors. Uh, in the morning, uh, this type of a fishing over here <coughs> is always best in the morning. So my choice it will go for a black one, like this guy over here, got a couple of fish as well, I'm sure you can see that. And there you are, you, have a, you can do a dark one and a light one, and you have a, two colors that will serve you pretty much all day, all day long. So as you can see, uh, this is not really a difficult fly to tie. It's very simple, fast, and uh, my buddy over here, Miguelucho, he likes it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give that to him. He doesn't know yet, but I'm going to have to tell him that this, that's going to be my gift to him. Miguelucho, this is for ustedes para probarlo. Okay? Le gusto? Si. Si que le gusto. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're done with this one. I I hope you enjoy it and uh, give him a shot. Try it. You you'll see the action of this little flies. So I'm gonna go ahead and start another one pretty soon and uh, have a fun out there. Take care.